Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. So as I was stating, I want to get straight into it. Again, good morning. God bless you. Hallelujah, wherever you are in the world. So my scripture this morning is Matthew 6, 33, King James Version, of course. And it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Notice he didn't say our righteousness and all these things. These things should be added unto you. This is what God was saying. God was saying that we have to go back to putting God first. Notice what it says, but seek. That means you have to seek. That means you have to, you know, pray. You're going to have to get into your Bible. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because this world is going to make sure that you try to disconnect from God. Let me tell you something. We're going to just make this plain this morning. You're going to have to disconnect from this world in order to connect with God. Let me go ahead and say that again. You're going to have to disconnect from this world in order to connect with God, period, in the story. And it will not be easy because, to be honest with you, we have been conditioned. We have been trained. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know it's true. I mean, you have Christians loving the world more than God. That's because we've been conditioned. We've been conditioned our whole lives. I, oh, I'm going to break that thing down. Um, from school, first to 12th grade. And I'm going here this morning. And some of you may not agree. And that's fine, too. Say what you want to say. But I'm going to break this thing down. We were conditioned. Okay, you go to school. All right, you graduate. All these loans and everything that you have to do toward, you know, toward your college education, which suppress and oppress you because after you get out, you might find a job in your field. You may not, but you still got to pay them loans. Sally May, Fannie Mae, and all the Mays. You know what I'm saying? No, I like you to understand what I'm saying. Now, I'm not against education, but I'm just saying um, we were taught to, you know, go to school, go to college, be the best that you can. And the American dream. But we've turned, we, we actually found out that it turned out to be a nightmare. What am I saying? The federal system. Federal system have always ran this world. Come on, somebody. We've been trained. Trained for this. As a matter of fact, um, I'm glad I'm even bringing it up. My spirit just hit me. Um, we've been conditioned to accept everything but God. I just said something. Why do you think everything is getting passed? Why do you think everybody is so... The things that we wouldn't have not been favorable years ago, you can do today. Y'all know what I'm saying. So they've been conditioning us through television, through the food, through the media. Media is the main thing. So God's saying, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness because we're not right. Hallelujah to his name. I'm telling you, you have to disconnect from this world. How do you do that, Apostle? You do the right thing. You live godly. I didn't say perfect. You live holy. You do. You make good choices. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, right now, we're living in a society where if you do the right thing, evil is being called good and good is being called evil. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But God is watching everything. Come on, somebody. Everything we say, everything we do. And I also want to bring up this scripture as well. Matthew 24, 6, 8 says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But notice what it says. But the end is not yet. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I want to read this, the seventh verse, because I'm trying to tell you something. For nations shall rise against nation. Against nation. That's color. Y'all know it's going to be a race war, whether you like it or not, whether you try to stop it or not. These things must come to pass. Notice what it says. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom of God against the kingdom of darkness. I've, I'm seeing it all right now. Hallelujah. And there should be famines. Y'all know people are going, people are already starving. Come on, somebody. And pestilence. That's plagues. Um, All these new things that they have. I, I think they're making all these seeds, truth be told. And it says, excuse me, and earthquakes in diverse places. So this is Matthew. So the Bible is being fulfilled right before our eyes, you guys. So I pray that you understand the signs of the time. You know, when you get wise and you have, um, walk in wisdom and discernment with God, you start realizing all that stuff that you think is important. This is important. Watch for the signs. Treat people kind. Be mindful of what you say and what you do and how you live. And I'm going to leave you with this. Oh, yes, I have to. I want you to start really thinking. If you die today or tomorrow, and we all going to die, so I I'm sorry. Where where would you spend eternity? 
Now, I know most people think, hey, look, long as I'm living now and I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing, I say count the cost. Because you can say that now, but hell is real. And heaven is even more real. It's surreal. You know, you got Christians and I'm going here and people don't like when I go here because they think I'm being judgmental. I, can, I really don't care what, what you say. Y'all know that. And y'all know I don't read them stupid comments, by the way. Yeah, I'm saying that. Y'all be writing all kind of stuff. You can't move me. You, you don't know that by now. Don't worry. Don't worry. You will. <laughs> but anywho, yeah, I had to throw that in there. Y'all be, I'm, I'm talking about people really think they, when you, I have to say this, I have to say this. When you are grounded in God, man, you don't care about no, what nobody say or do. You, you, I mean, you know, seriously, if you are important to me, maybe, and that's a maybe because I'm still going with God. Oh, come on somebody. I'm just being real. Y'all tripping. I don't care about what y'all be commenting and saying, especially on YouTube. Y'all don't run nothing but your mouths. <laughs> I had to go there, y'all. But I'm telling you right now, all jokes aside, um, please be mindful of your decisions. You want to live for God. I didn't say you want to be perfect because you're going to die. Point blank in the story. And where your soul will end up, that's all up to the choices you make today. Don't be moved by this world. Don't be fooled by this world. You know, honestly, the reason why the kingdom of darkness, and I'm going there, you got, you, you got Christians wanting to be stars and stuff like that. Everybody want to be seen. Everybody want attention. Let me, let me tell you something. For how long? Now I'm going here too. Most of the time I realize when people are trying to be something, that's because the enemy has made them feel less than their whole lives. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm down somebody's street. You know it's true. How many times growing up did people tell you you were nothing? How many times growing up, especially if you grew up in a um the South where poverty is, y'all you, know what I'm saying. There are some poverty stricken places to where they just want to get out and be a star. And, and now they live this uh, facade. Don't, don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. I've seen it so many times i'm not saying it's wrong to have nice things but what i am saying if that stuff have you yeah you're wrong because now you, you're living a fake life yeah i said it like i said it i've seen it you know um oh lord i didn't know he was gonna make me go here this morning and i pray people don't get offended if you listen all right here we go one of the key things i learned for 2019 and i, I have to go here I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm doing a disclaimer for those that might know the situation, what I'm saying. I'm not trying to be ugly or bash anybody. Um, I had the privilege last year to live um, in a five-bedroom home and five-bathroom. And I'm going here for a purpose. I'm going to tell you right now, I've always wanted, you know, we, we like nice things. We want things. But when I tell you that having what you think you have. That does not mean that you will be happy. That's all I can say about that. I'm so serious. I've seen some things I can't even explain to you. You can have, I've seen people have it all, so say, and yet very unhappy. What am I saying? It is about your relationship with God. It is about who you are as a person. Do you walk in integrity? Do you walk in honor? Do you walk in truth? Or are you a liar? Yeah, I said what I said. You got Christians lying. Lying like a rug. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's the truth. Be mindful. And then, you know, I'm going here too. Then you have some people that play with God. And, and this is how you play with God. If you play with God's people, you play with God. You know, you do anything, you say anything, and then you got the audacity to laugh like it's funny. Oh, I'm saying that, I'm saying that for a reason right now. Woe unto you. Woe unto you that think life is a game. <laughs> and when they come back, you're going to be crying. I said what I said. Hallelujah to his name. Remember this. Every choice, there is a consequence, good or bad. You can say what you want to say. Make good choices. Think about it. Hallelujah. So I pray that you have a blessed day. Make it a blessed day. Every day, get up thanking God. You know, you may not have everything you want. You may not have who you want. Let's be real. Some people solely live for if they don't have this or they don't have that or who they don't have. Just thank God. God, thank you for waking me up. Thank you I can use my limbs. Thank you I can talk. Thank you I can walk. Thank you for food. Thank you for shelter. Be thankful. Be mindful in this hour. There are some people who don't have anything. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah.
The world has become so superficial. And then when you get it, it's not all that. I promise you. <laughs> and to be honest with you, how many times? I'm going to leave y'all with this. How many times have you brought something? And I mean, it could be a car. It could be whatever. And in about two months, you're not even thinking about that thing no more. You, you like moved on to something else. That's how this world is. It's not even real. I would suggest that you stay with God, treat people kind, treat people nice, live the best life that you can as far as doing well unto people. Be respectful, be mannerable, be loving, be kind, be forgiving. That's the true nature of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk in wisdom, walk in discernment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. And I pray to see you guys at the conference in 10 days. Um, Again, I will not be getting on here um, where you can see me. I am in consecration mode. Um, it's a one-day conference, but I promise you, God always, I mean, he show up and show out. I'm not even, <laughs> God is good. We're not all that, but God is good. And, and all he wants to do is he's looking through the earth in this hour. Who can I use? Who will go for me? Who will run for me? Who will die for me? Who will tell the truth even if they get hit for it? Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because you're going to get hit. Oh, you're going to get hit for the truth. I promise you that. Hallelujah. That's why most people, most people want to be like, oh, honey, let me tell you something. If you truly walk with God, that that's not even real. <laughs> people will say all kinds of things, do all kinds of things. You know, when I was in Sacramento, they used to say that you have to have thick skin. You, you better, you better, better be strong. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.